Good morning, Alan Hoover. This is Mr. Hain here again. I'm going to show you how we're going to make our next uh, drawing project. This one is designed for first grade, um, but anybody could do this one if you're watching. Okay? What we're going to do for this one is I'm going to show you how we're going to make this pretty awesome cupcake drawing, and then you're going to color it in. For this, of course, you'll need your pencil, a Sharpie, and then crayons to color it with, but you could obviously use markers or paint if you want to. Okay, let's get started. So in the instructions, I think I said to start with our base first, which really is a flat bottom. Okay, and you want to make sure that we're not making a teeny tiny cupcake. You want to try to fill the paper. Then I'm going to have my lines that come off on the side that go up at an angle. Okay, that's the base, like the paper cup our cupcake would sit in. Now before I draw the lines of the cup, what I'm going to do is draw the icing on top of the cupcake. So I just kind of start with a rounded edge that goes past that line, kind of curves over here, we draw another line that comes underneath, round it on this side, another one rounded up here. This one I like to bring it down so it does have that swirl look to it. So I'm kind of bringing my lines down, then this one I'm going to curve over here. And really then you just want to decide how tall you want to make your cupcake. You can keep adding more and more layers. I want to add one to I think it looks pretty good, so I'm going to stop right here. Okay. After this, then I can go ahead and add uh, any pattern you want to the base of it. I'm going to do the classic striped lines, just because I think that looks nice. So I'm going to draw that in here. Now I'm ready for like the fun extra stuff that you want to add towards your cupcake. Maybe up here, put like a cherry in. So I draw the round part for the cherry, a little highlight. Draw a stem up here. If you want to add more, you could do that. I could make candies, so maybe swirled candies. They're going to be here. Again, you probably want to do a couple of each, especially the candies to really kind of make sure it feels like it looks like um, somebody decorated it with a plan. So I'm going to put those on. I could do maybe stripes that come down. Maybe it's like a cotton candy mix. Okay. After that, then you would think maybe I could do, do you like, like a Jolly Rancher candy. And these are yours, so you can draw any kind of snacks that you want on top. So some, some candies here. Maybe I would do little sprinkles, circles all the way around. Okay, whatever you want to add, it's up to you. Then, after it's done with pencil, I'm going to take out my Sharpie, and I'm going to very carefully outline all of the lines that I've made. I want to make sure, too, if after you Sharpie, there's any pencil showing that you don't want visible, we want to go ahead and erase that. So outline all of your stuff. These I'm going to make a little bigger so I actually can color them in. The wrapper of my Jolly Rancher. Keep outlining my icing. Now when you go to color it, um, again you can use markers, I'm going to use crayons, you could use paint bright, almost neon colors are going to look good on this project. It just kind of adds to the fun um, aspect of these whimsical cupcakes. So draw my lines, almost done here. So if you have any highlighters or kind of neon uh, markers or, or crayons, those would work really well for this. Okay, so after it's sharpened, then I can use my crayons to color it. Again, your colors don't have to be, you know, super realistic. These are yours. You can color them any way that you want. So let's say I use that bright blue that I like, and I'm going to do my stripes in this. When we color them, you want to try to make sure that it's as even as possible. Okay, and then you can go in, these are rounded, so you're going to have areas that get less light where the, the little wrinkles meet. So here I'm going to apply more pressure, lighten up as I get away from that, 
apply more pressure, lighten up as I get further away, continue that process. Some more pressure, lighter as I get up, more pressure up here. And when you do that throughout the whole thing, it's really going to add a little extra to it. So I'd color the blue there. Let's say, I think actually the pink would look really nice against that blue. So I evenly color this in. Same thing, apply more pressure up here, lighter in the center of it. You can even, especially in these lighter colors, mix in. Let's say I found my purple. I'm going to add towards the shadow part a little bit of purple. Again, light pressure as I get towards the center to really kind of even add more to the color play and to the shadow. All right. So I would just kind of keep going until I color the whole thing in. All right. Have fun with it. I'll see you guys later.